Hey guys, I just came back from a pretty awesome uh, Christmas sale run <coughs> to buy figures that nobody else would buy. Um, uh, I guess I'll consider this a figure. I don't know. Anyway, these are Go Go's Crazy Bones Part One Gold Series. Ten exclusive Go Go's inside, uh, and then it also says it in French. Go Go's exclusives are the interior. For ages 4 and plus, warning, choking hazard, small parts, not for children under 3 years. Or, advertisement, risque development, petit babies, no coming up past our infants, the moins de triante. That's totally not what French sounds like, except in my mind. So, if you got a problem with that, sorry. So, we've got this, let's see what it says at the back. Gold series, limited edition, unique characters available only in this collector's tin set. Customer service, for some reason, <laughs> they give you it right away. JDNA.ca, so it's a Canadian company, hooray, Magic Box in, uh, International, GoGo's, slash Crazy Bones, GoGo's Crazy Bones.com, whatever. Um, I think the unfortunate thing is that I don't know anything about Crazy Bones, so I can't tell you what the hell's going on in any of this. What I will say is that the major reason I bought this box is because it's a box. And I'm going to reuse this box for things that I need to hold, like action figure, like weapons or something like that. And uh, I'm probably going to throw these bones at homeless people. And they're also not going to know what to do with them. Uh, uh, maybe. So... Oh, here. It says, contains 10 gold, most valuable go-go's. Whatever that means. I don't know. So let's open this stupid thing up. By the way, this box is really sturdy, and that's really the main reason. Uh... Yes! I can imagine if I were five, I'd totally open it like this. And not care. Opens it up. Ooh! Whoa! Amazing! It's so gold. Oh my god. So here's like a little foam piece to... Whoa! I don't know if you can see this. I threw it with intention to throw it away and it's stuck on the thing. It's amazing. The amount of things that you see on my video is nothing but, oh, inspiring. Uh, I'm like the Steve Jobs of whatever this would be. So here's the instruction book. Go Go's Gold Series Limited Edition Series Door. So, hmm. Immediately I think I see a problem here. Uh, so let's introduce all these dumbass characters. There's Hiroki Door, a gold Hiroki. There's Gold. Oh, oh, I. Oh, all right. So that's not his name. It's the description, sort of. And they've um, translated to French as well. So uh, let's read the English versions, which they decided to. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, here's the Gold Hiroki. Or is it Gold Lasse? The Gold Boki, Gold Targi, the Gold Jato Kondo. Uh, uh, gold Gondo, whatever, Gold Sato, Gold Molly, Gold Mosh, and Gold Nasako. Hmm. I'm not entirely convinced. Unfortunately, I actually thought that these were randomly packaged, which is why I bought two, but I feel like now I don't have to open that other one. This is never going to uh, come into focus, is it? I don't know. These are super disappointing, just so you know. It feels like hollow plastic. I mean, it's... I don't know what you're supposed to do with these. Um, there's like an indentation in the back, I guess. They all have this. And they do something with it? You balance them? Is there like instructions? Yeah, if I find like a roach back here, I'm gonna be pretty angry. It's pretty gross. It's like, boop. That would be really, really gross. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I would uh, be videotaping this if there's like a roach, like a dead roach in here. It's been dead for years, gold plated. That would be pretty, I don't know. I mean, it is a gold container, and this is exactly what I wanted to hold stuff, you know. Um, I don't know, like if I had bread? Ugh. Ugh. 
So let's take a look at these gold figures. I don't know. There's nothing else to do, right? I mean, you're watching this video, so you clearly have nothing else to do either. <laughs> uh, so it's got this... I don't know. It'll probably look valuable to somebody from afar until they get closer, and they're like, oh. Uh, so, yeah, I have no idea what to do with these guys. There's, like, no instructions. Or maybe I didn't read the instructions. I feel like there should be instructions, but there are not instructions. Okay, so we're going to just make up a game for this. I don't really care. So we're going to stick these against the uh, backdrop first, because I think that's attractive. Uh, we're going to take the bread back out of here. Um, I'm going to put this thing aside, and we're going to attempt to play with these. Um, I'm going to assume that this is how you play this game, so if I'm wrong... Okay, first you set all these up. Okay. Careful. Careful. You can really only tell the front of these guys because the back part has an indentation, so... Let's see here. Can we focus on this one because it's particularly gold? Probably the precise reason we cannot. La -la. Can you imagine if, like, um, um, if Harrison Ford, um, found this in the in the Temple of Doom, he'd be like, "Oh, fuck my life," and then probably commit suicide. I forgot his character's name, I just remember it was played by Harrison Ford. I wanted to call him the Tomb Raider, but I know that wasn't correct, so... Let's get this uh, a mite down here. Boop, 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 boop. Realized I should have done that before. So, okay. First you get this. And then you... Uh... Get depressed about the money you wasted on this? I don't know. Um, so we're going to take this one. Uh, he's going to be the winning go-go. Like the attacking go-go. Against this non-attacking. Like this is like. This is going to be like 300. Where this is like the one. And this is the hordes. So we're going to see how many he can knock down in one go. In one go-go. Flick him. Da -da -da -da. Oh my. He got like four of them. Uh, I believe I've won the game. Uh, 